Let's learn about this HSL secondary panel. Now I've already edited this last clip here. I can turn off and on that effect so you can see what I've done with this last clip of Anthony cruising down the street. This is a way to affect just a specific color in your frame and there's more different ways to choose that color that we're using. So first we have these color pickers by selecting a color by, with this eye picker, eye dropper, and then finding a color. Say we would click this red car back here. See what happens on the HSL. We have hue, saturation, and luminance. So hue is the colors that we're selecting. S is the saturation, and L is luminance, the brightness. If we click on these triangles on the bottom and the top here and drag, we can see what we have selected. And dragging to the left and expanding this will increase what we've selected. Down here, same with the saturation. This will increase or decrease what we've selected. And then the luminance, again, we can see what we've selected. So we haven't selected much because the color we, click, we selected wasn't much in this frame. We can add color to this by clicking this add color and say we want to add that color. Or maybe pick something back here. So that adjusts just a little bit too. We can remove color. Say we want to remove something that was selected like his skin tone if we don't want his skin tone to be selected. So this is how you select the color or you can just pick any of these presets up here so say I just pick this magenta right here. That will just pick the magenta in this frame. I'm going to undo that though with Command Z, Control Z if you're on a PC. And then down below we can refine our selection. Blur will blur the edges of our selection. And denoise, if there's very small speckles that were selected, increasing the denoise will get rid of those small speckles. So that might work good for this because we don't want to select much of his beard or him that much. We just want to select this car in the background. Then we have the correction. This is how we adjust just the selection. So if I click in the middle and I want to change the color of this car in the background, I can do that. And if I go too far though, you can see what happens that the other things that were selected, his hair, the, the building over here, are also affected a lot. So we don't want to go too far with it. But see how cool that is? We can change this red car to a blue car. And then we can change the tint, the temperature down here if we want to make it even more. Changed or whatever we want. Increase or decrease the luminance of it over here. And the cool thing is it affects the entire video. It's not just for that one frame, it's the entire video. Pretty cool, huh? And then again, we have our sliders for contrast, sharpen, saturation down here. The difficulty is fine tuning the selection so you're just affecting what is on, what you want to affect. So that's where you're going to have to spend a little bit more time. But this is the HSL panel. Next, we're going to be moving on to the vignette panel.